All right, let's see if we can get this right. Let's see if we can get this right this morning. Make sure that uh, get it going in the right direction. How's everyone doing this morning? If you happen to hop on live, make sure that uh, that you let me know where you're coming in from. I'll give you a quick shout out and uh, and show some love your way. All right. So this morning we're gonna talk about toxic network marketing robbery. What the heck is that, right? What the heck is that? What does that mean? Do I even want to hop on this thing? Toxic network marketing robbery. And um, this one should be a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting topic. I just wanted to do something a little bit, maybe a little bit different, kind of help you out with your mindset going into uh, into today and going on further into your week. What is it that uh, the number one thing that I think is a robbery? Okay, of people in, in the way that they think, especially when they're inside of network marketing. This is this probably is the number one thing I, I believe that will that will rob people. Okay, is they don't think like this. They don't think in this in this type of uh, a mentality. Okay, and what that is is when someone gets started inside of network marketing. When someone gets started inside of uh, of any company or anything like that. The first thing everyone asks them to do is to make a names list. Okay, that is the number one thing that everyone at I don't care what company you're in, the number one thing they ask you to do is make a names list, right? Cool. Right? So you get to make a names list. Most people probably that probably can squeeze out about 10, 20 people kind of off the top of their head. I mean, no matter who you are, unless you've lived in a cave your whole entire life, you probably can squeeze out somewhere, you know, 10, 20 people. I like, hey, I know this, this, because that's what gets people started. They say, hey, you know, I know such and such and such and such. They probably would do this. Uh, they probably would do that, right? Now, that's cool. That's great. That's a great starting point. But here's where we here's where we lack it. And I've seen this time and time again. Hey, been guilty of it. This guy, been guilty of it. What ends up happening is, is that they'll make that names list and they'll go through that initial names list. And what they do is they leave off people who they don't think would approve of their concept, don't, would, wouldn't approve of network marketing, okay? I get it. There aren't a lot of people who, you know, there are, and not everyone does what we do, right? Not everyone does what we do. So. If that's the case, if that's the case and you're only going to talk to those 10, 20 people, don't expect to build a large and massive business. Now, let me help you out here. That's one mindset. The other mindset that you should be thinking of is like, hey, I'll find enough people. I'll find enough. But you see that initial 10 to 20 people that people talked about, that initial 10 to 20, what ends up happening is, is that they kind of run through that list or whatever and then they stop. When you have a whole list, most people, if you're over the age of, I think they said if you're of 18, you know at least 2,000 people, right? They say 2,000 people, that's a lot. Okay, well, you know, 200, whatever it is. Where we mess up is, is that you talk to the people who you think will do it about your opportunity. But there's a whole group of people over here, which is a bigger pool of people, who may not do your opportunity, but probably would like your product <laughs> right they probably you have probably have a really great product I venture to say that if you are in direct sales and you don't have a great product and you don't believe in your product you shouldn't be with that company right you shouldn't you shouldn't be promoting something that you do not believe in or something that you're not a fan of so yes you have your initial group of people who are the people who you say hey they'll probably do it Susie Jack you know Jim uh, Randy, whoever, right, <laughs> would probably do it. And then you have a whole group of people over here who you think, oh, I don't know if I should talk to them or whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, you talk to them. Maybe you don't talk to them about your uh, about your opportunity, but there's I've seen a lot of uh, company presentations, a lot of them just talk to them about the product, the product that you market and how it can help them. Let me give you this too. If you talk to more people about your product, 
it's easier. It's more duplicatable. Okay. If you talk to people, say, hey, listen, it's easy to talk to people about, um, hey, I feel I feel like I've got more energy. Okay, because I took X, Y, and Z. It's easier to talk to people like, hey, you know, it's crazy, but the last couple of months I saved on, you know, my light bill. You know, oh, how did you do that? Okay, it's easy to talk about, you know, hey, listen, it's crazy, but we took our family on a cruise and, you know, it only cost us, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Whoa, how did you do that? It's easier to talk about the product and it becomes more duplicatable. Okay, it becomes way more duplicatable because you can talk to a bigger group of people, right? The people who you don't want to talk to about your opportunity. You have a whole group of people right over here that you can talk to about your product. Okay, and products are easy to talk about. You know how I know? Because we all talk about products. We don't talk about Apple stock. We don't talk about, you know, Coca-Cola stock or, you know, the moves and investments that they're making. But we talk about how great the iPhone is. We talk about how great the new tasting vanilla Coke is. We talk about all those types of things. So we already talk about the products of things, but we may not talk about, you know, uh, the money portion of it. And if you're watching this, hey, and if that makes sense to you, make sure you drop a number one. Okay, just drop a number one like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. It makes sense. Now, here's a secret sauce, okay? Because this is just kind of a mindset thing, right? If you just walked around and you talked about nothing more than just your product, I just talked about my product, just talked about my product, just talked about my product, and never brought up the opportunity, never brought up the fact that you could make money, never ever mentioned any iota of money. If you never mention that, here is what happens. Two, you get to build a massive customer base, which is great, right? People who are raving customers, Two, it becomes more duplicatable for those who you do bring on. Three, if, now mind you, if someone goes on and they become a Raven customer, you can now convert them into a distributor or to a, uh, a money person or whatever you want to call it, right? They can now become a part of your network marketing team instead of just a customer. And the best, the best producers in network marketing are a product of the product, right? Okay, does that make sense? You ever heard of that? Have, who, who's heard, by a show of hands, who's heard of be a product of your product? Okay, we're all a product of some product, right? <laughs> okay, so if that, if that just makes sense, I mean, hey, listen, all you have to do is take this big group, okay, make a list of this group, this group who you never talked to about your opportunity, who you may never approached about what it is that you do from a network marketing standpoint, and then you reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I don't know, you know, you could throw it up, hey, listen, I don't know if I'm barking up the right tree here, but you know, we do this or I do this. I don't know if it may interest you or not. And don't be addicted to the outcome. Listen, <laughs> please, please do not be addicted to the outcome. Whatever you do, just, See if they're open. See if that's something that that they want to do or that they're open to, to trying. And if they are, move forward. If they're not, hey, at least you've planted a seed in their mind that they may be aware of later down the line. Okay? You've planted that seed that, hey, I'm in business. So this is what I do. If, it's, if you're ever interested or open to that, then you've planted a seed for down the line. You know, most people just never open their mouths and say, hey, this is what I do. See, they need to be able to think of, hey, when I'm in this situation, this is the person I think of. See, when your car breaks down, you think of a mechanic, right? You think of a certain mechanic, like, hey, I need to go see such and such, okay? That only makes sense, okay? Something goes wrong with your phone, hey, I need to go talk, call such and such. I need to go see what's going on with this. My computer's messed up. I need to go here, okay? So why would you not have that same impression in people who you know are in people's minds. You have to go out there and promote what it is that you do. You have to have that promotion. So the toxic robbery of it is, is that you never talk to the biggest group of people in on your list or who never made your list about your, about your product or whatever it is, okay? Just see if they're open, just to see if they're open. Who cares if they say no? Who cares if they say, oh, you're stupid or whatever? That's gonna happen. But at least you planted a seed in their minds to say, hey, this is what I do. Make sense? Right? Just be in business. That's it. Just be in business. Some people come on today. Some people come on next week. Some people come on next year. Some people come on two, three years down the line. 
okay? But you have to always have your doors open. Closed doors, don't get fed. Open doors, hey, you're open for business. Does that make sense? Alright, so, you know, dropped a couple of nuggets on you today. I just didn't want you to be, you know, don't rob your own business. Do not rob your own business, okay? And don't rob people who don't know about your business of the great things that you do, okay? Some people will take advantage of it, some people won't. Not everyone has an iPhone, not everyone has Android. You know, it goes all the way around, all right? So listen, I truly, truly, truly hope that you got some value. Don't rob yourself, okay? Don't rob anyone else. Hope you got value. Hope you understood exactly what it is that we're doing here. And uh, listen, if you are, if you are inside of network marketing or considering getting inside of network marketing, okay, I put together a great PDF, okay, and a great audio on how to prospect good people in 15 seconds or less, okay? How to prospect good people in 15 seconds or less. Wow. Wow. Don't have a lot of time to do network marketing? No problem. 15 seconds. Don't know a lot of people? I'll show you how to find them don't know you know what to say I'm gonna tell you what to say so it's a complete blueprint on how to prospect and find good people no matter where you are you can find them anywhere in the world and go and build a massive business all right make sure you head over to meetrandyjohnson.com enter your name and email I'm giving it away totally free put this together for you love you guys I will see you all same great time same great place have an awesome awesome day